This video shows how you can manage privileged user accounts for Hitachi Ops Center and Hitachi Virtual Storage Platform Storage Systems by using CyberArk Central Policy Manager. It also shows how you can create a secure session to Ops Center Administrator Console by using the CyberArk Privileged Session Manager connector. Hitachi Ops Center is a centralized AI-driven storage management suite that provides advanced management, analytics, automation, and data protection for modern VSP-powered infrastructures. Hitachi Ops Center Common Services provides for an integrated configuration environment and a common login screen. Users and user group management is centralized along with authentication settings such as Active Directory integration and product license key registration. Therefore, users can launch registered products without an additional login action. When you log into the Ops Center portal, you see a list of registered Ops Center products. When onboarding storage systems, Ops Center products use privileged user accounts. CyberArk Privileged Access Management Solutions secure, manage, and monitor privileged access while ensuring end users remain efficient. To take advantage of the CyberArk features, we'll show you how you can use CyberArk Central Policy Manager to manage Hitachi Ops Center Common Services and Hitachi VSP Privileged User Accounts to automatically change passwords and store new passwords in the Enterprise Vault. We'll also show you how the Ops Center PSM Connector component creates a secure session to Ops Center Administrator Console. CyberArk Session Management capabilities enable organizations to isolate, monitor, record sessions, and control privileged sessions on critical systems, databases, and virtual machines. First, we'll import a platform. A platform defines shared characteristics for multiple accounts. It specifies the technical settings for accounts such as account properties, credential management policies and timeframe, workflows, and so on. Importing a platform consists of downloading the Hitachi plugins and then importing them as a platform. Let's begin by logging into the CyberArk web portal as a user with permission to import and manage a platform. First, we'll select the authentication method. Next, under the Administration tab, we see the Platform Management view. To view all supported CyberArk integrations including Hitachi API plugins click Marketplace and search on Hitachi. Now, we download the five plugins into the CyberArk Privileged Access Manager. Hitachi Ops Center API Hitachi VSP API Hitachi Existing Ops Center Link Usage Hitachi New Ops Center Link Usage Hitachi Ops Center PSM From the Platform Management view, click Import Platform and select the packages you downloaded. We see that Hitachi Ops Center Platform and VSP Storage Platform were imported successfully. Note that Link Usage Hitachi plugins are imported under the Dependence tab. Now, let's enable Automatic Password Management. First, select the Platform, click Actions, and select Edit. Then, under Automatic Password Management, click Password Change. To automatically rotate passwords associated with the platform, change the Perform Periodic Change value to Yes. To save your changes, click Apply. Next, let's enable automatic verification of passwords. First, change the Perform Periodic Verification Vault to Yes. Then, click Apply to save your changes. The frequency is configured in the Master Policy. Now, let's locate and verify the current frequency values for periodic change from the Platform Management view. Next, let's add and manage an account. Only authorized users can add and manage accounts. Before adding a new account, make sure you know which safe to use when adding the account and the platform with which to associate the account. Now, let's add an Ops Center Common Services User account, Ops Center User, to manage the password using CyberArk Password Manager. From the Accounts View page, click Add Account and for the Account System type, select Imported Platforms. Next, select the Hitachi Ops Center server via API platform with which the Ops Center user account is associated. 
The settings defined in the platform and master policy determine how the account is managed. Now, select the safe in which to add the account. For example, Playground. Then, select account properties such as Ops Center IP address, username, and password for adding user account. If you want to allow automatic password management, select Allow Automatic Password Management and then click Add. Next, let's add a VSP Storage User Account (VSP user) to manage the password using the CyberArk Password Manager. From the Accounts View page, click Add Account and for the Account System type select Imported Platforms. Then, select the Hitachi VSP via API platform with which the VSP User Account is associated. The settings defined in the Platform and Master Policy determine how the account is managed. Now, select the safe where you want to add the account. For example, Playground. Next, specify the account properties such as SVP IP address, username and current password, storage device ID, and storage serial number for adding the VSP user account. If you want to allow automatic password management, select Allow Automatic Password Management and then click Add. Now, let's change the Ops Center Common Services User Account Password. First, click on the Target Account and under Compliance Status, click Change. The CyberArk's Control Policy Manager changes the password to a new random password. The change process can take up to 5 minutes. Refresh the screen to check whether the process has been completed successfully. If successful, the system shows that the password was changed by the CPM. If you have permission to retrieve the password, click Show to see the new password. You may be prompted to enter a reason. The new password will be set according to the platform settings. To verify the account password, click Verify. Refresh to review the results. If successful, the system shows that the password was verified by the CPM. During password verification, the system attempts to log into the target device and verify whether the password in CyberArk matches the password on the device. Next, let's change and verify the VSP Storage User Account password. Both VSP and Ops Center User Accounts are added to the list. To change the VSP user account password, click on the target account and under Compliance Status, click Change. The CyberArk Central Policy Manager changes the password to a new random password. If you have a password mismatch, you can change the password only in the vault. The change process can take up to 5 minutes. Refresh the screen to check whether the process has been completed successfully. If successful, the system shows that the password was changed by the CPM. If you have permission to retrieve the password, click Show to see the new password. You may be prompted to enter a reason. The new password will be set according to the platform settings. To verify the account password, click Verify. Refresh to review the results. If successful, the system shows that the password was verified by the CPM. During password verification, the system attempts to log into the target device and verify whether the password in CyberArk matches the password on the device. Now, we'll add and associate a Reconcile account. Passwords in the vault must be synchronized with corresponding passwords on remote devices to ensure that they are always available. To accomplish this, the CPM runs a verification process to check whether the passwords are synchronized. If the verification process discovers passwords that are not synchronized with their corresponding password in the vault, the CPM resets both passwords and reconciles them. This ensures that the passwords are resynchronized automatically without any manual intervention. Now we'll show you how to add a reconcile account and associate it with the target account, which is the Ops Center Common Services User Account and the VSP Storage Local User Account. First, let's add a Reconcile account named Sysadmin, which is the Ops Center Common Services User account, to reset the target Ops Center Common Services User account Ops Center User password. From the Accounts View page, click Add Account and select Imported Platforms for the account system type. Then, select the Hitachi Ops Center via API platform where the Ops Center User account is associated. 
Next, select the safe where you want to store the account. For example, Reconcile. The Reconcile account is a privileged account that has permissions to reset the target account password. We recommend storing this account in a separate safe where it is only accessible to the CPM for reconciliation purposes. Now, specify the account properties such as Ops Center IP address, username, and current password. The account is added to the list and is stored in a separate safe from the target account. First, let's add a Reconcile account named VSP Admin, which is the VSP Storage User account, to reset the target VSP Storage User account, VSP User Password. From the Accounts View page, click Add Account and select Imported Platforms for the Account System Type. Then, select the Hitachi Ops Center via API platform where the Ops Center User account is associated. Next, select the safe where you want to store the account. For example, Reconcile. Now, specify the account properties such as the SVP IP address, username, current password, storage device ID, and serial number. The account is added to the list and is stored in a separate safe from the target account. Next, let's associate the Reconcile account. There are two ways to associate the Reconcile account with the target account. At the platform level and at the target account level. At the platform level, all accounts associated with a specific platform use the reconciliation account password specified in the platform. At the target account level, the reconciliation account password defined at the account level overrides the account specified in the platform. In this case, we'll associate the reconcile account with the target account at the target account level. Now, we'll associate the Reconcile account with the Ops Center Common Services User account. To associate the Reconcile account at the target account level, navigate to the Target Ops Center Account Details tab and click Link under Linked Accounts Reconcile account. Then, select the Reconcile account that you just created. For example, Sysadmin. The Reconcile account is successfully associated with the Target Ops Center account. Next, navigate to the target account details to verify whether the Reconcile account was successfully linked to the target account. Now, let's associate the Reconcile account with the VSP Storage User account. To associate the Reconcile account at the target account level, navigate to the Target VSP User Account Details tab and click Link under Linked Accounts Reconcile account. Then, select the Reconcile account that you just created. The Reconcile account is successfully associated with the Target VSP User account. Then, navigate to the Target account details to verify whether the Reconcile account was successfully linked to the Target account. Next, let's perform the automatic password reconciliation task in Ops Center API platform. First, select the platform and click Edit. Now, select Automatic Password Management and then select Password Reconciliation. By default, manual reconciliation is enabled. By enabling automatic reconcile when unsynced, passwords are reconciled automatically when the CPM detects a password on the Ops Center Common Services User account that is not synchronized with its corresponding password on the Target Ops Center server. Then, under Reconcile Reasons, specify which CPM error codes trigger a reconciliation process, and then save your changes. Now, we'll perform the automatic password reconciliation task for the Ops Center Common Services User account. First, navigate to the target account details to verify whether the Reconcile account was successfully linked to the target account. In this case, the password of the Ops Center User account was manually changed and therefore, wasn't synced with the target Ops Center server. Next, in the Overview tab, click Verify to watch the CPM perform an automatic reconciliation. After a few minutes, an automatic reconciliation is performed by the CPM and is documented in the Activities list. Initially, the password verification failed because the passwords weren't synced. Later, the CPM reconciled the password automatically. 
Next, let's perform the automatic password reconciliation task in VSP Storage API platform. First, select the platform and click Edit. Next, navigate to Automatic Password Management and then select Password Reconciliation. By default, Manual Reconciliation is enabled. By enabling Automatic Reconcile when unsynced, passwords are reconciled automatically when the CPM detects a password on the VSP user account that is not synchronized with its corresponding password on the target VSP storage system. Then, under Reconcile Reasons, specify which CPM error codes trigger a reconciliation process, and then save your changes. Now, we'll perform the automatic password reconciliation task for the VSP Storage user account. First, navigate to the target account details to verify whether the Reconcile account was successfully linked to the target account. In this video, the password of the VSP user account was manually changed and therefore, wasn't synced with the target VSP storage system. Next, in the Overview tab, click Verify to watch the CPM perform an automatic reconciliation. After a few minutes, an automatic reconciliation is performed by the CPM and is documented in the Activities list. Initially, the password verification failed because the passwords weren't synced. Later, the CPM reconciled the password automatically. Next, let's onboard the storage system into Ops Center Administrator. Every time we change the password of the VSP Storage Privileged Account, we must re-register the storage system in Ops Center Administrator. To do that, we must associate the dependents, existing Ops Center link and new Ops Center link, with the Hitachi VSP via API Target Platform. First, Click the target platform, select Edit, UI and Workflows, and then select Usages. Next, right-click and select Add Usage. Update the value as EXT Ops Center Link, add another usage and update the value as New Ops Center Link. Both dependent platforms are tagged to the Hitachi VSP API target platform. Now, add the Ops Center IP address in the target account of the VSP storage system. For example, VSP user. Then, associate the logon account, which is the local user account of the Ops Center administrator. After changing the password of the target account, the VSP storage system automatically re registers to Ops Center administrator with the updated storage user credentials. Now, we'll securely connect with an account using Ops Center Secure PSM Connect. From the CyberArk web portal, select the authentication method and log in as a user with permission to edit the platform. Then, click Administration and under Ops Center API Platform, select Manage PSM Connectors. Drag and drop the Hitachi Ops Center PSM Connector package. Next, on the Policies page, click Master Policy. The default configuration under the Session Management section requires privileged monitoring, and the isolation rule is inactive. After selecting, click Add an Exception, select the Hitachi Ops Center via the API platform, and then click Next. Next, switch the rule state to Active and then click Finish. A new exception gets added to the Master Policy. With this exception, users can securely connect to the Ops Center server using the target accounts on the enabled platforms. Next, click Connect. The master policy rules may require a reason for the connection. Now, you can perform actions on the Ops Center Administrator web console as a local user without the actual password. All actions performed in the session are recorded in the system for monitoring and auditing purposes. For more information, visit our website.